You don't need me to tell you. You already know. You're already living it every day. Cost of living is going up. Food, housing, gas, or as we call it in Australia, petrol. Everything else is going up, up, up. And discretionary spending money is going down, down, down. And you tell yourself, no more luxury handbags. You have enough. And that money is better spent on important things like paying your bills. You tell yourself, yep, yeah, that's fine. That's what I'm going to do. Then one night when you're relaxing, maybe after work or on the weekend, go, let's just do some online browsing. Just innocent scrolling. And you scroll the internet just to see what prices are like at the moment, see what bags are on sale. And then bam, when you tell yourself no more bags, that's when you see one that really tickles your fancy and is at a really good price. I really want it. That's such a good price. And that's when the internal struggle begins. Then you have the little angel on one side telling you, no, don't buy that bag. Stop looking at it. You need to put that money away. You need to save that money. And then on the other side, it's the little devil telling you, you deserve it. Just treat yourself. You've been working really hard lately. It's just one bag. You can save more next week. This is when the internal dialogue goes. That's when you battle yourself back and forth internally. Okay, who else can relate to this? If you can relate, put your hand up and hit the like button because this is exactly where I am right now. The last bag I bought, the last bag I unboxed here on YouTube was just in March 2023. And it was this gorgeous vintage Louis Vuitton St. Cloud PM bag. Look how stinking cute this bag is. Actually, I never even thought I'd ever buy this bag because I'm typically not into really small bags. And I already own this bag in the bigger GM size, which I already love as well. But let me tell you, since I bought this bag, I've loved it so much. And I told myself, that's it, girl. One bag for this year, that's enough. You already have so many bags. You have like 20 plus luxury bags. That's enough for the year. No more. Economy is going bad. Save your coin for those important things. Then one night after work, I'll just do some innocent scrolling. Just grab my phone, see what's on eBay. And then there it was. I've been wanting a St. Cloud GM in the epi leather for the longest time, specifically in the Kenyan fawn color, but I kept putting it off. And then what do I find? The vintage St. Cloud PM in the epi, in the Kenyan fawn color at a really good price. Worst timing ever. Just when you tell yourself no more bags, that's when you find one at a really good price. And then you have the internal battle. Now a wise friend once said this to me and it's always stuck with me. A deal is not a good deal unless you actually needed the product. Now I think a lot of us can relate to this internal struggle and I think it's really helpful to just talk about it. Like, hey, it's okay to battle yourself on what you want to buy versus the reality of your discretionary spending budget. It's okay to have this internal struggle. It's okay to sometimes feel a little bit sad that maybe you shouldn't buy the thing that you want because that money could be better spent on something else. Because, hey, if that means bettering your financial position for that day or that week or that year, then you've made a good decision, regardless of the FOMO you're going to feel from not buying it, regardless of how good of a deal that bag was at the end of the day it's just a bag it really doesn't really mean anything and to be honest a lot of the time what a lot of us experience is we'll really 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 want the bag even obsess about it watch all these youtube videos about it scroll and scroll and scroll hunting the bag down at a really good price get obsessed about it and then we end up getting over it anyway and then we just move on to the next bag. I heard a really good term coined by Minx for All, which she called it the gimmies, 
where you just love the chase of a bag and you hunt it down and then you get all this adrenaline and excitement for it and then you get the bag and you unbox it it's this really big fun ordeal and you kind of get over it and then you go on to the next one and the next one and the next one and she calls it the case of the give me's give me give me give me give me give me and sometimes we do get into a bit of this cycle which in the financial good times might be okay to do that but sometimes when things financially getting a little bit tight that's not what we should do and sometimes it's a little bit uncomfortable when you have to flex that muscle when you have to resist a purchase so each time you see a bag that you really want that's at a really good deal and you get the FOMO and you're like oh should I get it should I not get it every time you resist that bag I want you to give yourself a round of applause I want you to give yourself a pat on the back because if that means you've bettered your financial position then you've done a really great thing for yourself now I know sometimes it's really hard for us handbag lovers because these even the vintage ones and the pre-loved ones in the grand scheme of things they're not really cheap cheap bags like they're not five ten dollar bags they're still in the hundreds sometimes even thousands and they're still a big expense for an ordinary person so I'm, I can only speak for myself and I'm just an ordinary girl with an ordinary budget but with an extraordinary love for these handbags which are a little bit pricey so sometimes we have to put our financial position ahead of our consumerism once but every time you do it no matter how uncomfortable it is I want you to congratulate yourself on resisting a purchase because at the end of the day a bag is just a bag we'll live now if you're really relating to this topic of internal struggles with shopping and having to tighten up your belt or tighten up your budget because of the rise of cost of living I'm actually going to be talking about this a lot more because it's something that's really real and something that we're living through and things are start kind of getting worse from how they were a couple of years ago from when maybe a few of us started collecting when we had more discretionary spending money and the prices were better so because things are changing our shopping habits really need to adapt with it despite what we want because we want to just keep shopping sometimes so let's talk about this more watch out for future videos on this topic